Sorry. So look. I've been on overnights, graveyard, what have you. So I'm super tired. But huh, funny. Um, anyways, I'm headed to Seattle. It is the day before I depart. I am tired as H E double hockey sticks. Um, I've actually been working every day. <laughs> Um, I got off today so I can make my flight and stuff. Um, so I guess what I'm putting in my bag this time, it's nothing special. Uh, I got whatever clothes I'm wearing. I'm going to take my MacBook, a tablet, and an actual book, like a physical book, you know? Um, mostly because my Kindle is dead and there's some physical books I would like to finish um, on a side note, I just finished reading Assassination Classroom, if you like anime, which is really cool. Uh, so basically, I expect this trip to be real smooth, real simple. I'm going to take all of these wonderful videos and photos on the Pixel 2. I'm going to edit them from my Pixel 2, maybe. Um, if I don't, I'll let you know which ones I like edit from my computer. But honestly, I'm quite lazy and I like editing on the go. So, see how that goes. Hopefully, hopefully at the end of this video, I have like a good news type of thing. I'm really excited. I've never been to Seattle, never been to Washington State. Um, honestly, just never been up in that northwestern, is that right? Never eat soggy worms. Yeah, northwestern corner of the world, um, well, of the US. So this should be exciting. And, uh, yeah, I don't know what else to say. I'm really hungry, and I need to go grab some headphones um, for my wonderful travel tomorrow. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoy seeing what I packed. And we're going to have fun in Seattle. We're going to have fun and come back with good news. Then you got this thing, which I'm probably going to need in the morning. Got this nice sink area, extra sink area, honestly. Um, this is the bathroom. Hey, bathroom shot. Yeah, travel attire. Uh, and tubs and stuff. Right? Nice. And then you have this wonderful LG flash screen TVs. Um, this nice bed. And you have this whole other area here and it's just dope another flat screen i'm glad i have a microwave because like i said i'm about to go eat um they do have free breakfast which is cool i'm about to pay for vpn on a side note we have this this door opens first push handle down to open lift door handle up to lock oh fam This, this is my view. I got the space needle. Midge. Yeah, I almost said the N word, so I had to like change it. I realized some of y'all might not be black. Oh, bruh, this is nice. I love it. The hotel should take better pictures, so I'm gonna do it for them. Yeah, it looks better, space needle in the background. Um, yeah, so before I came, it's a quick trip, but I bookmarked a couple of things that I wanted to do. Um, I got mostly food spots, uh, Pike's Market or whatever. Um, the guy just said they closed at 6. <laughs> One thing I can notice here is it's like any other day being like black <laughs> up here. I don't know. I, I don't supposedly liberal or whatever, but... Yeah, I totally got ignored uh, in the van. I know I kind of look like somebody's child, but like, Jesus. So, uh, yeah, let's go get some food. Hey, so... I was running like this morning so I'm gonna casey nice like this video by like getting dressed as I do it right 
<clears throat> so here's the thing. I'll show you what I wore to my interview. The whole reason I'm in Seattle is for an interview. <clears throat> interview went pretty good. Um, Got to check out the hotel by one. So we're going to go ahead and squeeze all of this stuff into one. So let me get set up here. Turn on some lights because we need better lighting and we'll begin. So, I'm back. So, let's talk about what was in my bag. Cables, of course. Western Digital Hard Drive. Haven't been able to use it. Probably going to use it in the airport. Um, I haven't been backing up my computer lately, and I really need to. Um, I just need little client projects off and things like that. Brought the iPad. Watched some Android Dev Summit. And this... This is the paper like. Remember the whole video I made should be like on this side or whatever in the card? Yeah, it officially came off. I'm tired. I'm throwing it away. <sighs> whatever. So, if you know an alternative to a paper like, um, let me know. Otherwise, I have about two more weeks um, before my work stuff uh, clicks over and I'm just going to go buy a Zach screen protector. In my case, also, side note, so when I was at the interview, one of the guys had the new iPad, the pencil, and it doesn't look that great. Um, I think I prefer this version. Anyways, uh, shall we? So, I'm not going to show you the smaller pockets because it's just pencils, business cards, girl things. I have my laptop, of course. So the book, uh, the book I brought with me is Feeling Good by David Burns, who is a psychologist, I believe is the correct title. Um, it's about mood therapy, and I know I talked about like living with anxiety and junk. Yeah, therapist recommended it. I have no problem saying that. It's a pretty good book. I think even if you don't have a therapist, it's really good. It really talks about like dealing with depression procrastination um don't have the depression portion it's more about the procrastination and because that can also kind of like trigger really big anxiety attacks for most people i'm just weird um i have this pison power bank which is 30 percent used a little bit yesterday while i was traveling pretty good you know, I mean, it hasn't failed me yet. It's better than the last one I had. Uh, got some some bomb stuff, which I'm about to put on my hands because my hands are swollen. <clears throat> As I take off my ring, laptop charger, you know. But here we go. Here's time for a review. Bose Quiet Comfort 35 Tubes. I really wish I would have did this review when I opened the box because my friend was absolutely hilarious. It's fun to have like non-tech people open up tech and like blow their mind of like possibilities. And I just spend way too much fucking money. <clears throat> but anyway, so these are Bose Quiet Comfort 35 twos. It's like it's it's like being a Greek god and never have to dealing dealing with like human bs like i already have the settings on high for the noise canceling i don't know what low sounds like i don't want to know what low sounds like these are great i think you get like 40 hours um of listening time with these if i remember correctly i'm put the specs down below um but yeah i've charged them once they're still at about 60 percent which should get me back home today um, if not, power bank it. Um, but also, if not, <laughs> have a cord. So I'll just plug in. I actually wash my um, my normal buds so they don't work at the moment. But yeah, they're cool. They come with the case. Uh, of course, I don't need the charger because I have tons of cables. Fold them up like this. I am in the case. I didn't hear a baby cry. I barely heard people talking. They sounded good when I was on the phone with my friends. My friends could hear me. I could hear them. Um, minus the fact that I'm just losing my hearing in general. But 
it's cool i kind of wish it had like a skip button on the headphones um but i guess it also doesn't matter you know it has a volume up and down it has to play pause or like the answer the call it does a lot of talking i hate the, the my biggest gripe is the firmware update keeps your phone screen on but that's not overly important um and i'm gonna be you know an adult or whatever and go back to the iphone so i can use my um apple watch and stuff i've just kind of been missing it my pixel 2 is great i don't need a pixel 3 but uh yeah so that's all i got um really has the reviews oh speaking of the pixel we'll do another mini review so i've been using project 5 for about a month now um i just said i'm gonna go back to my iphone so of course i'm going to get rid of it um it wasn't overly bad but it's not that great either not that great in that it's limiting um i can only use it with certain phones um i kind of like switching out phones a lot shouldn't say a lot because it's really not um but yeah so i just i think i'm gonna find a new carrier i think i'm gonna go back to mint mobile uh mint sim whatever it's called project Five has been cool i think the app is great wi-fi is crappy at my house so like i hit my six gigabyte threshold really quick it hasn't really been a lot of outages like the first two days or whatever with it. it was really bad phone quality wise but it seems pretty good I haven't had any problems with like connecting to the wi-fi um or anything like that it's just yeah it's, it's just really limiting on the phone and for me the fact that I had to take off call forwarding and I have now like two extra apps to manage my business number, it really sucks. Um, so now you have to, if you get this and you have Google Voice, you can't use Google Voice. You can't forward it to your number because it's the same service, which makes no sense, Google, because people have like two and three numbers on Verizon, T-Mobile, Sprint, AT&T, what have you, have no issue. Y'all gotta get it together. But anyways, Google Voice number tied to my business, my personal number, they're both on the same network, so I can't forward between the two. Um, so it's kind of an issue for me that I have to have this extra Hangouts dollar. It, it just adds an app and takes up space. Like it's really not that good. I don't think, I think I'm missing um, phone calls and junk. Uh, everything routes through Hangouts. I really don't need my computer ringing. Um, Cause sometimes when I'm in work mode, I put my phone elsewhere, and I don't, I don't want Hangouts calls to be coming through. You know, like I just, I just want to focus on my work, and because I have up my Gmail account, it'll start ringing. So that, those, that really is um, my biggest gripe is the whole Google Voice thing. Um, but it's really nothing too bad nothing nothing to really like seriously complain about so that being said um i'm gonna head out again i have a plane flight at like 3 30 it is like 12 something oh i'm still on nashville time my apple watch anyways it's like 12 something here i have to check out at one i'm gonna try to make it to the original starbucks um gonna try to find some spot to eat and then I'm gonna head directly to the airport I'm gonna get through security I'm gonna catch this flight think I can do it I think I can do it I've done worse <sighs> the goal is to not miss the flight da, 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 da. which means we should go to Starbucks first Starbucks and food all right sounds like a plan anyways I'm gonna pack up it's really quick cuz I was only here for like 24 hours so I'm gonna pack my backpack and we're gonna roll on out Seattle has hills by the way if you if you didn't know just like San Francisco Hills video I was gonna end it at the hotel with like the plane flight or whatever but I forgot to tell y'all I got back into grad school so goodbye to being an NYU student 
hello to being a student elsewhere. And yeah, that's all the good news I got. So, see y'all later.